Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at this concept right here. We're dealing with diameters and chords. And the sentence here says that if a diameter, and remember what a diameter is, it is a chord that passes through the center of the circle, which means that it represents the diameter, the, the full diameter of the whole circle. And if that is perpendicular to a chord, another chord, like the chord from D to E right here, then it bisects that chord. That means the two halves on both sides of the diameter, they must be equal in length. They are congruent. In other words, if BC, which is the diameter from B to C, is perpendicular to the chord from D to E, then the segment from D to F is congruent to the segment from F to E. In other words, they must be of equal length. How do we know that's true? Well, let's see here. Notice that this requires these two angles to be 90 degrees, right angles. And then if we draw a line from A to D, and we draw a line from A to E, these represents, represent the radius of the circle. So notice that the two triangles that we have now created both have a hypotenuse which must be equal in length because they're equal to the radius. Both have this side equal, they're equal right here, and they both have an angle equal that, like there. And because of that, if two sides are equal and one of the angles are equal, by definition, the third side must be equal as well. So therefore, we can conclude that this must be true. And so, very straightforward, very simple. It seems kind of obvious, but it's handy to know. A diameter that bisects a chord such that the angle between them is 90 degrees, that is perpendicular, the two halves of the chord will be equal in length. And that is how it's done.